We're gonna make you the prettiest closet ever. Hi, I'm Erin. I am a new mom and an organization enthusiast. Like a lot of you, I love the pictures of the bright, beautiful, minimalist spaces online, but it's just not realistic as a new parent. It's really hard to take care of yourself, your kids, and your home at the same time. I like to say I'm more minimalish than minimalist. There's plenty you can do to simplify a space that's gonna streamline your routine and make your life easier. So today, we are going to check in on new mom Dana. Dana loves buying clothes for her baby girl, so her nursery closet is a little out of control. Our goal is to simplify and to make a system that actually works for Dana. Hi, I'm Dana, new mom to six month old Gia. We need help. Mom likes to shop, dad likes to shop. Do you like to shop? Please help us organize our space. We're not gonna come in, do a gorgeous makeover, and then say, okay, keep it perfect forever. That's not what being a new parent is all about. But don't worry, Dana, we're coming over to help. Dana, it is so nice to meet you. Thank you, Hi, Hi, baby Gia, it's so nice to meet you. Can you two tell me about this closet, please? Well, mommy was trying to organize. You don't let her finish, so this is the finished product. And I just kind of jam everything in there. Does it close now? Um, let's try. Here, you get the baby, I'll do this. Come on, Gia, let's help. Uh, what are these piles? So this is the hamper. Clean or dirty? These are clean. Oh! Do these go in the closet? I would say they would probably go in the dresser. In the dresser. <laughs> And then what about these guys right these here? These are things that she can't fit yet. So we need to find a spot for those for when she grows into them, Correct. but maybe not right here. <laughs> I heard you have a thing for hooks. Hooks and hooks and hooks. I feel like if it's on the wall, okay. it's out the way. I think we can do that. Gia, will you please take your mama somewhere fun while we make your closet gorgeous? We're gonna make you the prettiest <laughs> closet ever. I asked Dana what her dream closet would look like. First and foremost, she wants to maximize the space. She'd love to have the clothes organized by size, look into the closet, and know exactly what she has. She also says that she loves hooks, so we'll figure out a way to get hooks in there too. Dana and Gia are going to go about their day, and I am going to go about transforming this closet. We're going to streamline and we're gonna give Dana some drop zones. She's already organizing her mess into piles, which is great. We have clean clothes here, clothes that she's gonna grow into here. We're just gonna add a spot where they're kind of tucked away. So I'm gonna go grab some supplies. We're gonna take everything out of the closet and we're gonna start from scratch. We have one day to plan and get all the supplies for Dana's makeover. We're gonna pick up our order in store today to save time because I am with my little girl today. Hey, Charlotte. And we may poke around for a few other things if someone's game. Charlotte, do you like any of these? These are so cute. And Gigi has a pink room. Do you think she'd like them? I love the polka dot. I can't leave this section without buying at least a few things. So I think we're ready to pick up our order and then get going on everything else. Now we have everything we need to organize the space. <gasps> okay, let's just start. <laughs> okay, does it come with instructions? We're gonna add two key pieces to Dana's closet, sort of mimic the look of one of those custom built-ins. They're just two things you could buy at almost any organization store. A lot more affordable too. This crazy looking thing is a closet extender. It hangs over the top rail and it adds an extra bar to hang your little clothes. We talk a lot about streamlining and making an easy system that we can follow every day. So you don't want clothing that's either too small or too large for the baby cluttering your space. We're gonna transfer Gia's clothing from the hangers that they're on now. I also got these really cute dividers because Dana says she wants to separate the clothing by size and this is gonna help us keep everything organized. Six months, six, three, nine. It actually looks like she has some dresses over in the dresser, so I'm going to take these out and hang these, and then take all these pajamas and onesies and put those in the dresser. Those are easier to fold, these are easier to hang. There's a lot to work with in this closet, we just need to make sure that we're maximizing it. We are going to put everything that is too small for Gia into this bin and set it at the top of the closet. I do this with my own daughter. I do a big load of laundry of everything that doesn't fit her anymore, and then I pack it right away. There's still enough room in here that Dana could probably fill it with the zero to three month stuff that Gia's gonna grow out of in the next couple months. I'm gonna put this on top of the closet and she can fill it up as she needs. The great thing about these bins is that they look just as neat and tidy if everything is neatly rolled inside or if things are just thrown in. 
So these are all of the three month onesies and pajamas and we're gonna put those in the top drawer. I'm going to use the bottom drawer of this cubby to store all of those seasonal items. Easter, <laughs> Thanksgiving, <laughs> Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I'm also going to put her heavy winter jackets down there. We just have a few other things left to do here. We're gonna move over to the dresser. I cleared out this drawer when we were hanging everything in the closet. Those are the onesies, those are the bibs. Where are the socks? Okay, we're gonna make a spot for socks. Balenciaga. Fancy. <laughs> there are a few that don't have mates, but I'm just gonna tuck them in the bottom because I don't know where the other ones are. <laughs> Hold on. Is this another bag of clothes? <gasps> ah, it never ends. <laughs> so let's take this back out. Maybe the Easter bunny has to come out. Now we have the seasonal items and all of the big clothing in this bottom box. I want to give Dana some spots to put those accessories that there's really no place for right now. It's kind of like a hook. I'm actually going to use the Easter basket that I found tucked in the closet as a little decorative storage here. And we are going to use this to store all of the hats. Then we'll put a couple on the side here. Baby shoes are basically decor. Let's show those off. So cute. Yeah, I think that works. Dana actually had an extra set of these hooks that she said she's always been meaning to put up. So I'm going to put them up for her today. For now, I'm just gonna put some extra hangers here. She could also use these hooks to hang a camper. I feel like everything is in the closet and pretty well organized. Into this corner, I'm going to add a hamper for dirty clothes and an extra basket. I think it looks cute. Dana's ready to come back in. Eyes closed. Oh, Ready? One, two, three. Oh my! Do you this it? looks great. I can walk in. I love this. How did you make a second hook rack? I'm so glad that you asked. Your little shoe section. Here are all of your accessories. Great. I love oh, what you did to this because this lived on the floor. I love this bag. I wanted to show you this too. This contains all of the other stuff around the room. So instead of it just living out, you can conceal it in these little boxes. This is also a great drop zone for when you have your hamper or something you want to put down. You could put it here and it doesn't have to live on the floor. Over here, we did a little bit of a redo on the dresser area. Great. I love the colors. You have two laundry baskets. Get. And they're empty! They're empty. <laughs> I know. This is your dirty and this is your clean. You kind of been doing that anyway, but we just kind of made it more official and in one Perfect. spot. Sometimes I was putting actually her dirty clothes in like a plastic bag because what was supposed to be the hamper was full with clean clothes. Right. So now this makes sense. Oh, yeah. this is great. And I like how you folded them way better than what I had going on. No, you are actually an excellent folder. You are not giving yourself enough credit. This is beautiful. Oh, it already was a beautiful room. We just did a couple things to help you organize. Thank you so much, Erin. I appreciate you coming. Yeah. We're such a great mom. You were doing so many things. We were just happy to come in and help you organize a little bit more. Dia, this is your room. <laughs> Whose shoes are these? You have such a nice room and such a nice mama. You're a lucky girl. I hope this minimalish makeover helps Dana feel a little bit more organized, maybe a little bit more calm. She and Gia have the best style, and now they have the best closet. Hey, Erin. It's Dana and Gia here. It's been working out great for us. It's so easy. Gia also got some additions. More shoes, and we have a place to put them. Erin, we have another closet that we can't close. Come back soon. Let us know in the comments what makeover you would like to see next. We're always looking for new spaces to make over. And that's a wrap. We're done.